It has been somewhat of a bumpy 24 hours for us. We had showers and storms roll through in the overnight. Thankfully, most of the, those behaved. Uh, mid morning this morning, we had a tornado warning for our southern counties for Franklin County in Tennessee. That was this morning. It's gone. And then just earlier this afternoon, we had one for Cumberland and Fentress County. Here's the most important thing I can tell you. There are no warnings in effect for the News Channel 5 area right now. There are some low clouds behind the cold front that came through, but these are not going to bring any risk for strong to severe storms. They're just going to keep things a little cloudy as we head towards sunset. So Cookville, you have nothing to worry about tonight. Putnam, you have nothing to worry about tonight. We're in the low 70s. The showers and storms, it's the southern tip of them, of this line, that caused us some challenges in Cumberland and Fentress County. It's quiet across other parts of the News Channel 5 viewing area. I expect it to stay that way because these storms are moving away from us. So this tornado warning is in effect for Morgan and Scott County. Those are our neighboring counties. That's not our viewing area, but it's just outside of it. Fentress County, the strongest storms are now outside of you. Couple raindrops on the northern part. This is eastern parts of Pickett County here, so a couple heavy downpours there. There are even a few showers that stretch back into eastern parts of Putnam County along I-40 near Monterey. Again, not severe, and I'm not worried about it. The two storms that were presenting the most problem or the concern have now moved outside of our area. They're moving towards Highway 27 over towards Robbins. Still some circulation there with this, but again, moving away from us. So no one in the News Channel 5 area, none of you, need to be in your safe place. We're going to get a break as we head into the overnight hours tonight. A couple showers will likely persist for our eastern tier. That's where there's a little more moisture, a little bit more energy. Could even see a couple down into parts of DeKalb County over towards White County. But our severe threat has rapidly dropped down. Finally, right? Clouds sticking with us as we head towards sunset tonight. Showers and storms for our eastern tier gone. Everybody gets to go to sleep tonight, get a good night's rest. No need for the wake me up apps or the weather radio. Tomorrow night, another round of showers and storms coming in. It's going to come in two waves. First one comes around sunset. Not expecting much from this. There could be some gusty wind, but I'm not overly concerned about it. This will continue as we head towards midnight on Friday. We may need a storm five alert for Saturday morning in the pre dawn hours. Likely around four o'clock in the morning, we'll have a stronger line of storms coming in from the west, and that'll continue through at least the lunchtime hours of Saturday. So overnight tonight, mild, quiet, rest easy. 57, maybe sleep with the windows open, get some fresh air. Tomorrow will be a warm one. Temperatures in the low 80s. Most of the afternoon will have a good deal of sunshine. Showers and storms arriving late Friday night, waking up to rumbles and a good soaking by Saturday morning. Rainfall estimates on Saturday still look to be around an inch, so no big flooding concerns, but it's definitely a soggy start to your weekend. Stay with us. Lots more on News Channel 5 at 4.